Hey, good morning, y'all. Just a very quick video. Uh, uh, one, I uh, wanted to put out there a double seven. Hey, my dog's gone crazy. Can you hear him? Um, <clears throat> absolutely no ill will in the discussion. Um, I don't mind any, any topic, and if it comes across heated at times, it's just the original topic that I just to clarify. No topics I want to Mr. Uh, Clarence can verify with that. Uh, this is just outright insulting, which you are not by any chance. I'm pretty good. So, I threw out for the gang who watches this three scenarios. So, why not? We got better to do. So, one, you're going to retain Grady. You can extend it, right? Here's the ground rules. When you look at the defensive tackle, you got Jonathan Allen's right around 18 room. The Forrest Buckner's at 22 per year. And Chris Jones is at 20 mil. Grady is going to be in that 19, 20, maybe 21 mil. And he could look for four next year. So, you're probably looking at signing for at least four year, 80 mil, probably, something like that. Maybe five, um, at 18 mil per. So you gotta make a choice to handle that. The second option is a little bit better. I'm waiting for my dog to start yelling. Yes, that's a great Dane and a Corby. Interesting match, huh? Um, second option is you can go all in on like Harold Landry. Harold Landry, uh, I think he projected, I put it out there, uh, four years, somewhere in 64 mil, maybe 70 mil. He's 25, Grady's 29. Now remember that. Uh, if you do that COA, that course of action, as we call it, military, you'd be signed Justin Reed for like three years, nine mil, some, some safety along that level. The third one option I gave you guys was, you know, I think uh, Bell, you talked about it, and I talked about it too. That'd be good, Manuel Agma. Um, a bit older, bigger, 6'4, 275 type, kills what Pease does. I know that for a fact. And then you're looking at a three year, 32, 33 mil, I think it's projecting. And then I'm going all in and getting Marcus Williams. He's 25 years old, probably the best deep third safety right now for your safety out there. He's a ball out to me. So for me, I chose three, right? That was my scenario. Um, that's my big bang. And um, I didn't know if it's realistic, so it's all fun, right? And in this case, I, I, I'm, I'm looking for draft picks. Um, I projected a trade to Grady, first round, Dallas. Is it a second round? I don't know. I can see Dallas and DQ say, or even DQ going to say Denver. I think he's interviewed for Grady fits what he does. It can make sense. He's had a proclivity towards his ex-players. I'm also projecting Calvin for a second round pick. I wonder if you guys saw something. Uh, I'm afraid we're stuck with Devo. Devo's got a poison contract. I mean, that's just a big ass hit with a lot of dead money. So I think Devo's this year. And in my scenario, which you guys can pick your own scenario, and I, I recommend you do because it's fun. You can just write it out if you want to read it. You know, we're living for you all. Um, <clears throat> my mock is you'll see it there. Trayvon Walker can come under a big target for me. Um, but the. the Pick Grady on Zion Johnson. So for me, in this case, getting the big edge, a confusing side, three tech, five tech, that was a key for me as much as BPA and knee. And then getting Zion Johnson with that Cowboys pick solidifies my left guard. And then I went for guys like uh, you'll see Darren Beavers. I still think he's fantastic. He could sneak first round, but I don't know. But I like him. He's kind of a hybrid edge and off ball guy. Chad Moon is really becoming one of my guys I like. And then I picked Myron Taglavova, Amosa. He's a long uh, defensive end type. He's got a good quick step. Look, these guys aren't Brady. Maybe Trayvon could. He's 6'5, he's 280. He's quick, he's athletic. But again, I'm playing with house money. You know, I'm, I'm gambling on a youth movement. Uh, <clears throat> additionally, got Brees Hall late. Um, maybe Hassan Haskins. I don't know about the running back. I think they would do running back, I guess, in my scenario, I'm thinking. I took Tyler Algier as well, who I think may be an athletic fullback, run back hybrid. <clears throat> One of my interesting picks, so you guys, I want to see your scenarios, please. So I don't want to take dominate time. <clears throat> is um, to Tyler Grable, who I think between the connections with AS through his father, Mike Grable, and simply watching the kid play, I think he could be a, a very good right tackle in the system. He's a uh, Got a good first step. He's athletic. He's strong. I think he's better than Caleb. I think we can push Caleb out. Right? So that center I took, we got younger. So why did I do it? You guys pick your own. Look, 
It ain't anti Grady. We keep Grady. I'm happy. Let's get that out. Grady's a great uh, asset. Um, getting Harold Landry at 25 and, and Mark, you know, would be a good, right? On the edge. That said, I think getting Marcus Williams would be even more of a good, you know, he's 25 years old. And you get that back end subtle and, you know, pile in. Um, you get better. And look, another option, which I didn't put, keep fucking Grady and still find a way to get Marcus Williams. I mean, but I don't know realistically. So my scenario, I want a little more youth movement. Uh, I did have a big splash in free agency. I've looked at some other safety contracts. You, you're going to have bigger in the out years, but I think they're safer. We are extending that. We're extending Jake, which I don't think is that bad a deal. Um, that's what I put out. Look, would it be the greatest team but losing Grady? I mean, look, I could put a scenario too, by the way, and for you guys. I would. I hope you would. Or keep Grady. Build around Grady. And if I'm going Grady, I'm probably looking at Jordan fucking Davis or Dave White or some big ass beat tackle. Just put fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're going to keep Grady, that's just my opinion. I love the guy, great player, but you need to start putting him around guys that are big and, and burly. Or he's he's at his best when he's penetrating. And guys um, yeah, like Davison, what the fuck? Are... Well, I'm sitting with those scenarios out there. Again, no hard feelings on anything. Please don't think I'm an anti Grady. I'm not an anti Grady. This is just a snare. It's boring. It's what you do in the offseason. Look. Oh, so you did call me one thing a draft enthusiast. That's a little bullshit, dude. I'm actually a football enthusiast. That's my hobby. I enjoy it. I'm a team building enthusiast. I go through the shit in my real life, which is about team building. And sometimes you sell high, but you kids fuck up and sell high. You know, it's a risk you take. So they got the work cut out for them. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe, maybe even number three, we're going to Marcus Williams is, uh, is, is adventurous. Um, and put a fourth one, but fourth one could be a manual log mod guy like that, and maybe a Justin Reed. That's a much more cost effective approach. I do think, in all the scenarios, in my opinion, you don't get rid of Cordell Patterson. That just makes little sense to me. Cordell wants to be here. I can get him for two years since seven, eight mil. I'm doing it. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to tear up the video ways. I just want to give you a little heads up. And I'm uh, looking look forward to your responses. Let's have a fucking good discussion. What else are we going to fucking do in here? Um, and again, one more time. Very clearly, I don't hate Grady Jarrett. I just think Grady Jarrett's a unique player. He's perfect for a contender. I'll give you an example. Buffalo would be great. You know, they, they could use him the other day, right? Uh, Cowboys right now don't have a terror presence. They got a lot of edge presence. And that linebacker core is looking good. Uh, there's teams. Um, we could keep him, but we better build around him. And I, I mean that completely. I mean, we need to really build around him, but fucking around him. Because otherwise, we're just wasting. What's the fucking point? He's a speed guy. And, and look, I will put a caution flag. He is 29. His game's built on speed. Look, statistically, yeah, I hear Sack saying everything, but his tackles for losses were down. Um, was it no help? Yeah, but has he ever really fucking had help? I don't know. Anyway, discuss. Uh, post the video. We're going to do. You guys have a good morning. I'm going to work. Bye.